From the home of the Bills since way back in 1973, there's a look at Highmark Stadium just outside of Buffalo, New York. Tonight, we wrap up our Monday night schedule with another great matchup here in Week 17 as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. going to put it up right away. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Lawrence. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. They're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They go play action now. Lawrence. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. A big game there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. You give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pickup there, 26 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. 11, 11. Etienne will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Point after here coming up. And this is up and good. The score now 7 0 Jaguars. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. into the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he stopped immediately there. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play here for Buffalo, 42 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Throwing now is Allen. 
That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And the Bills at 13-2 on the year. And they've been playing their best football of the year, winners of four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Back to the air on second down, it's Allen. It gets this complete to Shaheed. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen to throw once more. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. Now Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And out bounds right around the 20. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. We're going to take this to about the ten-yard line. Throwing on first down is Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Stephon Diggs with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Bills are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kicks away and he'll elect not to run with it and a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25 the Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Von Miller racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. They go play action with Lawrence. Toward the sideline. Look at that catch, dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 34. In motion, the tight end. The left side completion to Jones. Jaguars. Zay Jones, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback.
Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that Football. Regular, 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 regular. 56, 56. Allen again here on second and ten. Oh, and that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Throwing his Allen on third. He's going to go up top again. He's got it at the 15. Touchdown. A big play there. 75 yards. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. The extra point by Bass. Up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. The Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Hey, Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. The Jags with a football to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. It's Lawrence. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll run with ETN. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Lawrence's throw brought in by Watson. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On second down, here's Lawrence. They'll get this out to the flat for ETM. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. And they'll use him out of the backfield, and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. Now Lawrence on first down. ETM bringing in another one. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Hey, Lion, Lion. Three left. 
It's a throw again as Lawrence. Eluding the pressure right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Brad, I think he's just great for to get back to the line of scrimmage and avoid not just losing yardage, but a big hit on that play as well. That defense closed out him quick and forced a quick surrender out of bounds. And he is going to have a Jags first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. Now Lawrence changing the play. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now they'll audible to something else. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Here's Lawrence. Touchdown, Jaguars! Zay Jones with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch. And it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive to last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping. He's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Allen going to throw. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points, but he could not get that to stick, and that is a golden opportunity wasted there. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself, you don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Take it all the way to the two. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And again, it's Allen. He'll buy some time right. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. Stephon Diggs. With career touchdown number 96, he joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Bills are an extra point away from evening this one up. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. 
The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Finding ETN here, catching it on the out route. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. On play action, Lawrence. Flush to his right. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. Now they'll change things up. They'll send the tight end in motion. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And Lawrence is going to get his guys to go quickly. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And Watson has it right side. Fighting his way through contact. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Now Lawrence to throw. He'll drop that underneath to ETN. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first down, Allen. He's got the hook up with Dan. This to the 25 before it's all said and done. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Jags grab it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. A little careless with the football, and he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did, and when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember, traffic, turbulence, people around you, Two hands. Get two hands on the ball. Grip it tight. I know it looks cool to have it in one hand. Put it away. Tuck it away because you've got to take care of the ball. That's good for 28 yards. 
as they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I would describe the way that he's played today as mature. He's already moved on mentally from that incompletion, and he's more than ready to throw his next pass downfield. Second and ten. Looking to throw Lawrence. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Von Miller bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. This has to count as a great team effort today. But this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game. Even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This one complete to Christian Kirk. Field goal would have been a decent length of 55 yards. They keep the kicking unit on the sideline. They're going for it. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And the Bills are going to get the football back. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it, and if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. Up downfield on second down. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 32 on the play. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. And it's complete right back to Ridley. And out of bounds right around the 20. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Now Allen. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Bills have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Extra point by Bass of the good. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taking it about the one. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Hey, Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. A short throw to Musgrave. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. Lawrence going to throw again. He'll get that underneath ETN. 
They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. 22 yards there, a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. This is caught. Touchdown! Christian Kirk, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars have answered back with a third-quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and that gives them a three-point lead. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Here's Allen to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And Shahid going to go in motion. Throwing his Allen on third. And that is incomplete. Gardner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. And Shahid going to go in motion. Allen going to go on fourth down. Going deep for Diggs. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. They go play action with Lawrence. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball and field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger points. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. On third down, Lawrence. Oh, a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now Lawrence now going to move him around. And one more time, here's Kirk. Touchdown, Jaguars! Christian Kirk with his second touchdown of the night. And the Jaguars get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. 
point after, right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Now a little try again on second down. Going deep for Diggs. It got his man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Allen now on first down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Now Allen again. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Allen from the gun on third down. Flushed out right. He's going to fire one. Corner of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Concentration, so key on a ball like that. It's hard. I know how difficult it is, but that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is going to slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? They've been in attack mode. Had to get back in. attack or do you dial it back a little bit to try to protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right, but I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Now Lawrence on first down, escaping the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Von Miller make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. Here's Lawrence to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a pretty act to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make a ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now Lawrence on third and long. 
And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Allen looks to throw on second down. And Allen will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact at the end. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 56, 56. That's it. Robinson up the middle. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. First down. First and 10 at the 20 yard line. And now they'll throw with Allen. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26 yard line. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Throwing now is Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. What a way to wrap up the week. Now a big play. It's third down. Now Allen. Robinson will try to pick it up. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Another big play in a game that's had plenty of them. Fourth and two. Allen. And that's going to sabotage their comeback. It is intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. Here's first down. To throw is Allen. He completes it to Ridley. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Throwing Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So there is still time, a little over 50 seconds to go, but this becomes a critical onside kick. This is going to be recovered by the Jaguars. And that should just about do it. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, 
the team expecting it. They do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he's across from a touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And the lead is up to 14. Makes the score, Jaguars 52, Bills 38. Logan Cook to kick off for the Jaguars. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. This is first and 10. Here's Allen. That is incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Allen. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game, and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. He's going to let it fly. This is caught inside the 15. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with the clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So they'll line up for the onside kick. 18 seconds to go. And they've got it. They recovered it. Wait, hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. A big mistake in that spot. You got to let it go, Tim. They didn't give themselves a chance. Hey, they had an opportunity, touched it first. Now they're in a really bad spot. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. And they will take a knee here. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Lawrence to a knee, and that will write a finish to this one. Normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So for Jacksonville, they get back to 500 at 8-8 eight and eight with one game remaining. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.